I don't know how it happened, but we seem to be living through a decade of outright stupidity. From our business leaders, to our politicians, to our government officials, to our community leaders, our opinions seem to be narrowing and our compassion thinning. And yet at the same time, we have access to more information at our fingertips than at any time in recorded history. In June last year, I was in a village outside Berlin attending a conference on social systems change. It was a beautiful summer's morning when the news came through about Brexit. We were shocked and stunned at the blatant stupidity of that decision. And of course, world events have since trumped the disappointment we felt that day. What the world is crying out for now more than anything else is wisdom to know the path ahead. Count Axel Oxenstierna, beloved Swedish chancellor in the mid 17th century, famously said, know my son with what little wisdom the world is governed. Seems nothing much has changed really. You know, there is an Australian expression used to denote somebody who is experienced, who uh, can be trusted, perhaps even wise. They say, he's crossed a few dry gullies. I know I've crossed a few dry gullies in search of water, and I'm sure you have as well. Wisdom has perseverance in it, but it's something much more than that. It's about knowing what is the right thing to do at the right time for the right people, making a wise decision. Now, typically, we have two ways of processing information to make a decision, fast or slow. Fast, we use our intuition, our experience, to help to make a decision. Slow, we use our reasoning to analyze the data. But there is a third system. The third system we use to consider others and to consider the consequences of our decisions. Now, our business schools don't train for that third system. And we've seen the appalling consequences of the loss of capital and livelihood over the last decade or more. So I invite you to join me for the eCliff Accelerate Workshop Series, Making Wise Decisions, to find out how you can use this third system to make better decisions for yourself, your communities, your organizations, and ultimately for the survival of the planet. Thank you.